Hey guys, this is Rich from Rich TV Live, and I saw this news here. Astralis Capital raises $30 million selling shares at $2.03 with $2.64 warrants. And I've been quietly accumulating Astralis Capital, and I've been saying that this is Aurora Cannabis 2.0, except it's more affordable. And while well, it is, I mean, like, look at the way this thing has started. This has been... Nothing short of a disaster. It, it opened up at like 10 plus dollars and has just come down since. Went all the way down to $3, down even lower. Oh my goodness, down to $230. And you can see it's just been going down and down and down. At some point, it will hit a floor. And then you see news like this. Like all it's done is gone down. And then, oh yeah, by the way. We're pleased to announce that the company has closed its previously announced non-brokered private placement of units of the company for gross proceeds of $30 million. For a company that's gone down a thousand percent, they've just raised $30 million like that, just like that, no problem, in order to accommodate oversubscriptions. That's right, they were oversubscribed. The company also intends to increase the size of the private placement by an additional 2 million to be completed in a second tranche. <laughs> no problem raising money for a company that's been going down, right? Well, you know what? Your boy's been accumulating it. I'm going to continue to. Pursuant to the private placement, Stralis issued 14,778,325 units at $2.03 cents per unit. Each unit consists of one common share in the capital of the company the shares and one half of a common share purchase warrant otherwise known as a warrant each whole warrant will entitle the holder to purchase one additional share at a price of two dollars and sixty four on or before october 25th 2020 the company may accelerate the expiry of the warrants in the event that for any 10 consecutive trading days the daily volume weighted average trading price of the shares is greater than $3.43. So that will be the strike price if they choose. Canaccord Genuity Corp acted as the company's exclusive financial advisor in connection with the private placement. I continue to hear that name. And they happen to be right here in town. All securities issued in connection with the private placement are subject to a statutory hold period for four months plus a day in accordance with applicable securities legislation ending on February 26, 2019. In connection with the private placement, the company paid aggregate finders fees of approximately 558200 That goes to the finder. Not bad, not bad. The net proceeds from the offering will be issued by the company for investments that adhere to the company's investment policy as described in its prospectus dated August 14, 2018. We are very pleased to have successfully closed on our first capital raise as a public company. Huge news. 30 million. Let's go. <laughs> Another 2 million coming. Our ability to complete this transaction is a currently in a currently challenging capital markets environment demonstrates the unwavering support by our new and existing investors and their belief in the future prospects of Astralis and its unique business model. I agree. I mean, it is Aurora Cannabis 2.0, folks. We look forward to prudently deploying this capital in investments that we believe will create significant shareholder value for our investors. I like that shareholder value. I want shareholder value. Michael Carlotti, Chief Financial Officer of Astralis. This news release... Yes, it does not constitute an offer to sell. Remember, Rich TV Live is strictly for education and entertainment purposes. Do your due diligence. Do your research. This company started as an IPO way higher and has come down. It has not been a success thus far. But I believe they will be. They are going to be a very forgiving stock. They will forgive all of their sins so far as far as going down for any investors that have been hurt. And I believe they will be a winner. Here's why. Astralis Capital identifies and invests in the cannabis industry, predominantly in the United States of America. 10 times larger market than Canada. A highly regulated, fragmented, rapidly expanding, and evolving industry. It's true. I've been telling you this for years. Investments may include and are not limited to equity, debt, 
or other securities of both public and private companies, financings in exchange for royalties or other distribution streams, and control stake acquisitions. They are going to be funding deals. They are going to be doing deals. They are going to be a merger and acquisition monster in America. I believe they will explode. You heard it here first from your boy, Rich. Astralis Capital adheres to stringent investment criteria and will focus on significant near and midterm high quality opportunities with strong return potentials while maintaining a steadfast commitment to governance and community. Astralis Capital Board Management and Advisory Committee members have material experience with and knowledge of the cannabis space in the U.S., extensive backgrounds in highly regulated industries, adherence to stringent regulatory compliance, public company, and operational expertise. AUSA, what do you guys think about this? AUSA, what do you guys think? Astralis. If you like this video, smash the like button. Comment down below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe for more updates. You can go to www.richtvlive.com, hover over news, and you can see everything there. Stocks, everything there. Cryptocurrencies, everything you need. You want to contact your boy? You want to follow your boy? You want to join one of our secret groups? Just hover over here. It's all there. You want to see our YouTube? You want to see our latest videos? Our feature videos? You want to see our pics? They're all right here. It's true. Holler at your boy. Astralis Capital. I think it's going to be a big winner. Look at the markets, guys. We're down a little bit slightly. No big deal. We're at war. We know this. We know we're at war. So we're down a little bit across North America. Nothing big. Nothing to panic about. But uh, we are definitely red, just slightly, just slightly. Where are we at right now? Yeah, in the uh, United States, we are down like 1.79%. In Canada, we're down less than 1%. So just slightly red. We might even finish in the green. Who knows? But I'm looking at Astralis Capital. You think this is a buying opportunity, guys? What do you think? At $1.64. A U S A. Let me know. Holler at your boy. Peace. See some of the winners, some of the losers. Thirty million, just like that, eh? Interesting. You've been down a thousand percent, and you just raised thirty mil. Something's cooking.